to all of you. Uh, first of all, I would like to thanks to all the ICI uh, talks bearers for giving me this opportunity to present the case in AI in ICAI. So I would like to show one use case which is applicable for every CA in the practice. Every CA in the practice basically use the comparison of the two data sets through Excel. In many cases, there are two data sets available with the CA. For example, if we take for that, that is very unique or common example, that is comparison of GST return data, GSTR 2A, 2B data with the purchase register data. So what I'm going to show you, we have a, a use case where you can use any Excel file having that uh, data set with the two Excel files or two sheets with the same data sets with you can identify the difference. So first of all, uh, in various cases, what we generally do, we use VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, HLOOKUP uh, in the Excel function. And through that function, we compare the two Excel sheets. But we, as we understand that in every case, the data result provided by the Excel VLOOKUP doesn't give a proper result due to the limitations of the Excel formula. And Every person don't know about those Excel formulas in very familiar manner. We look up, we generally use for the purpose of comparison, but every CA who is working in, in the small cities or may not be aware with the complete Excel functionalities. So I have a use case which where I will show you certain comparison process in which we will also use the concept of AI. So let me share the screen. I hope my screen is visible. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. So I am going to import one Excel file. That Excel file is related to GST return, GSTR 2B data. So I have just imported that Excel file. And in that Excel file, we have two sheets. One is B2B and I have selected another data in B2B test. Now, what we will do, we will just compare the two data sets, two spreadsheets. So just go through and now it has loaded the two excel sheets where in the first half part there is a one data sheet containing the 1270 rows and in the second excel part it is containing 1268 rows now if we want to compare that uh, data set through the Excel, we have a simple formula for VLOOKUP. But VLOOKUP has its own limitations because uh, normally when we use VLOOKUP, it simply pick the first uh, value from the others and it replace the first value from the other sheet into the all unique common uh, entries. So that give uh, results, but in various cases, it may not give a proper result. So to ease out the process of comparison, I have just... Uh, using this use case. So I'm just showing you how we can use it. So uh, you need not to have any specific Excel format for using uh, this spreadsheet comparison tool. You have simple Excel file having the simple headers and just file will be loaded without any glitch or without any process. Simply you need to select that columns through which you want to compare the data. Say, for example, if you want to compare the data of GSTR to be with the books of counts data. So we need to take a two common parameters that we want to look into the other Excel sheet. I have a books data and I have a GSTR to be data. So what I want to compare, I want to compare GST of particular party having the particular invoice number available in the other another sheet or not. If it is available, what is the value with the other sheets? So this is the process of comparison. So just you need to select the GSTIN and just simply select the invoice number. If you want to make a strict comparison, you can compare, select other fields also. But I'm taking here simple two parameters, GST number and invoice number, and just simply continue. And after that, what you need to do, you need to just simply select the comparison direction. You want to compare the data from first Excel sheet to another Excel sheet and you want to compare data from Excel sheet two to one, meaning thereby say we have two Excel sheets. So what we want to know, we want to know how much transactions or invoices which are available in our purchase register, but not available in GSTR2B. In the same way, we want to uh, know 
how many transactions are available in GSTR to be Excel sheet, but not available in our purchase register. So if you want to look at one Excel sheet to only second Excel sheet only, just simple compare, select the direction. Or if you want to select both way, just simply select two way compare. Now you want to know what is the value available in another sheet. Just simply select in Excel one, what value you want to get from the Excel two, just simply select taxable value and taxes. So I've selected it in Excel two. You want to say, select the same values, just simply select. And now just click on compare. When you click on compare, it will fetch the result. It has uh, compared the data with the first, I will select with the Excel one. Okay, so that will give you clear result. So now we can find it. Just a second. Simply select the columns, GSTN of supplier and invoice number. And select the fields which we want to take from the other sheet. Just simply click on compare. Now, when we clicked on compare, it has fetched the results. So the transaction which are showing as matched is basically the transactions that are available in this sheet and also available in the second sheet. So if you want to uh, check how many transactions are not found, so it is showing not found. These are the transactions which are not available in another sheet. So just want to select the filter, how many transactions are not matched. So it will show these are the transactions which are not found and the transactions which are mismatched. Mismatch means that value, taxable value or taxes of the one column is may not be matching with the taxable value or taxes of other column. Say, just look at this. Uh, this is the taxable value in other, another sheet, which is fetched from the sheet two. And I can just show you. This is the taxable value of uh, this invoice. Uh, taxable values 116,915 that has been fetched from uh, second sheet to first sheet and you can just look at this is the taxable value in this sheet so it is showing as mismatch in the same way this is the second case where it is showing as mismatch so just click on this sheet and we will find this is the invoice number 106 and 106 having the value of 13 uh, 1,36,652 so it is it is taking that value from the second sheet, but in its own column, it is showing 1,30,000. So it has matched the data and results. So it is the simplest way. But now uh, another thing that there are there are certain cases where we are having the invoices which may not be matched, which may not be matched due to the limitation of uh, basic comparison. We have just simply compared the invoices. Now you can just look at this. This is the invoice number 6924 oblique H. It is simply mentioned as in this second sheet also. So what that uh, Excel did it or tool did it just simply put the value from this sheet and kept it. And in both the cases, the invoice values and taxable values are matching. So it has put the result as matched. But what about these two cases? Here the invoice number is 63. But in the second sheet, invoice number is mentioned as 63 oblique 24, 24, 5 oblique H. So now it is not simply comparing. So what we can do, we can use here the role of AI. Now I will just put simply match with AI option and just click on continue and compare. So now just as, uh, immediately I have just clicked match with AI. What is uh, this tool did? Matched with AI result has been put as matched with AI. Now why it is matching with AI? Because it has the invoice number 63, but in the another data set, the invoice number is with the prefix and suffix. So what the tool did, 
it has just simply compared the data from the another set with this uh, com combination. So you can identify that this is the matching process of this uh, tool. Now you want to fetch the data from the another uh, from first sheet to the another sheet. Just simply took this uh, option and click on this value. Now you can identify how many transactions are put from the first sheet to the another sheet. So you will find that it is matching with AI, it is mismatched. And if you want to know entire result, how many transactions could not be matched, could not be identified. So you will find this is the value which is showing as mismatch. So total value which is showing as mismatch is coming like this. Now I have just given another option, rounding off. So you want to put rounding off values. So it may be possible while recording the invoice in the one data set, the value is showing with rounded off. Whereas in the another data set, maybe the value with the one, two, two, three or four rupees rounding off. So I just put uh, rounding off rupees up to five. So you can see just uh, in this case, there are several cases where there is a mismatch. But just I have just put rounding of rupees five, so it will reduce the result and the transaction which Last will be matched. It will uh, update the transaction with this scenario. In the same case, uh, what we can do if uh, there is a possibility that the GST number while recording the GST IN, if user has entered uh, misplaced the GST number with a few digits, so simply implement the AI concept in GSTIN and just click on continue and compare. So it will compare those transactions as considered to those transactions as matched in which GSTIN of the party is slightly uh, different. So I can show you just simply, you can just check it out. Here are the certain cases where the GSTIN of the party may, may, may not be matching and it has simply put the result with the AI matched. So this is the simple use case. And just for your information, this tool has been uh, just developed by us using the uh, fuzzy logic concept of the artificial in intelligence based system. So we are we have used the AI concept in this using the fuzzy logic concept uh, for the purpose of artificial matching the invoices. So this is the case from my side. Thank you very much. Sir, your voice is not audible. Am I audible? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, now is it audible? Yes, sir. But yes, 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 sir. Audible or not? Audible yes, yes, sir. Audible, audible. Okay. So, uh, Himanshu, uh, nice presentation. Okay, nice presentation, and uh, basically. Uh, uh, Good use of fuzzy logic, as you rightly said. So, and, and you showed a good case of uh, how to. Uh, no, match sir, again, the voice is cracking. GST files. Again, now. Sir, uh, sir, this is not only uh, this is not only useful for the GST comparison. You can put any data set in two excel files and it will simply compare and you need, need not to have any, any specific excel format got it got it correct uh, any two excel files but uh, you showed the uh, gst which is useful for all charge yeah. accountants a correct, really sir, problem correct. so yes, uh, good use and, uh, and and a good tool which you have developed so this tool is available or it's uh, proprietary for your use only sir i i would like to just uh, uh, from my bottom of my heart that i can uh, just thinking that I want to give this tool to the CA community just for okay. the use of CA community okay. without any cost. So I will be open with the ICI for uh, this tool free of cost throughout life without any cost to the ICI members only. Okay. Thank you. And sir, this tool was developed by me with my team in last 15 to 20 days when last uh, AI hackathon was going on. So when it was announced that I have been selected good, good. in AI semi-final, so that I decided that I will not use any chat GPT to my, in my presentation. I want to give my CA community to anything that is uh, very useful and that is used for day-to-day -day basis uses. Good, good, good. This is very interesting. In just 15 days, our members can do great wonders by creating some fantastic tools. Uh, see the opportunity if you can create a good amount of time the members can get a very nice presentation himanchu yeah Sim actually a simple comparative analytics uh, given on gst data but uh, yes 
the same functionality can be used for number of other application and yes. usage for data sets compared to charts reports anything i i think so yes 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 great right, himanshu so yeah. you have developed a good tool which is showing you the passage how data analytics is leading towards ai without data analytics ai cannot happen fine so that clearly states if you are able to analyze the data then actually you can put up the fuzzy logic and build up that ai model on that fine so great great work enough when i think you deserve an applaud for that and uh, umesh sir i think these are the tools which needs to be a kind of proprietary content for ici which you were talking about in hyderabad as well i think uh, if these tools or these kind of small small techniques are developed in house i think there is no comparison and these are the people who are actually facing these problems so solution is what realistic solution rather than an